When I was a child, I had a lot of sleep paralysis. I would be awake and I would see things. And then I also like had hallucinations um, till I was about like nine. I make video, I make installation, I make performance. And for those pieces, I make like textiles that maybe are worn or performed like puppets. I make like claymation, I make stop motion animation, I film the costume pieces and I collage those videos and then maybe I project that and then I might interact with it again in a performance. My work is like colorful and playful and I use texture so that like people will at least like know how it feels or want to touch it and that's really just bait like I just want people to get in close with these pieces themselves like that's not really the work it's more like they're props for an installation or a performance or a video like like it's just a scenario for the viewer to interact with. At the core of my work, there is anxiety and depression, but really I'm thinking of like loneliness and isolation and vulnerability and trying not to invade anyone else, but maybe I want to make them feel a little strange. I think that people who also um, are depressed or have issues with, with panic, they'll see my work and feel like they have a home, that they'll feel seen but also the people that don't experience those things, that they can understand the feeling of just like a little bit of chaos. I think that that is like where I do my best work. I make a lot of uh, wearables. They're meant to not be a person, to not be symbols, to not be categorized. You're just encountering really uncertainty. Hi, excuse me. Yes, you. Do you mind if we ask you some questions? I enjoy having these costumes, these ambiguous creatures talk to you directly and they don't explain anything. They don't explain why they are there or what they are exactly. He said we had to be quiet. I kind of will pull dialogue from sci-fi and horror movies where like the creature shows up and it's like trying to talk you into joining its side. A lot of times my wearables are wanting to become friends with you and they're desperately wanting to become oh, friends with, you, with you as an audience member. Yeah, so sometimes we practice just so we can be perfect for you. We want to be perfect just like you. They might be like really generic, like, like let's be friends. And that could come from like a Mr. Rogers or that would be different if it was like an alien or the devil. <laughs> My work aesthetically isn't serious, but I'm dead serious <laughs> like about, about the meaning. So that's something I constantly struggle with. I'm also maybe not like the most serious person either. Like I laugh a lot, and, but I think that there, the humor um, helps us as a human race to to deal with those harder topics. <sighs> you need to show us on your insides? Okay. I think ambiguity is, is really interesting. It's a cognitive dissonance where you can't really situate the feeling or the idea or maybe the relationship. That's my favorite place to be. That's where I wanna live, and that's where I want all my work to live. So I want it to be like inviting, but a little repulsive. I want, I want to make large work so you feel small. 
I wish that I could make things that were both both terrible and terrific. And that that's really like my aim. And I think that's something that I, I, I will always be trying to get at. Thank you.